And we're back. We just watched Saltburn. Salt <laughs> wow. What a journey. What a journey. Good movie to watch with the boys. <laughs> yeah. Um, one of the, yeah, it's a good... You can definitely watch that, like... With your friends. Family movie. Family movie for Actually, sure. Actually, family movie might be kind of pushing it. I thought it was a little little R-rated at times. Um, so you might want to be careful watching that with the rents. But well, Yeah, 100%. Yeah. But other than that, um, well shot movie. <laughs> yeah, the cinematography very, was awesome. Very, yeah, cinematography was uh, perfect. And, and I'm not even... I, you know, you guys are the ones with the eyes for that kind of thing. But even I was able to really just be infatuated by the way that they That's can good. shoot some of these, some of these shots. Yeah, no, this, it was a very well shot movie. However, Absolutely. I was not expecting anything that I saw. I will tell you the trailer. Have you watched the trailer for it? No, that, that uh, oh my God. Talk about just the perfect movie to go into not knowing at all what you're about to watch. Yes. The trailer lies to you. Just like how the character fucking betrays you at the halfway through the movie or whenever you find out. You know, spoiler alert, guys, obviously. But the trailer shows this kid going to this rich, crazy castle and all this like weird shit happens. Like a lot of the shots in the movie that were creepy. Like remember when whenever the one of the kids had the horse head on, he like turned his head to him and he took it off. It's like, I knew it was you. That's a shot that makes it look creepy. So it looks like it's this kind of get out situation where it's this crazy castle eccentric family that then, you know, wants to kill or hurt the kid. And that's what you kind of think. You think it's some weird ominous think, presence. And you, you think, think it's, it's the, the rich people after the poor kid. Exactly. Oliver. Exactly. Because that's usually how movies go. But that's not the case. So the trailer, when you watch it, it looks very ominous towards the family. You don't expect the main character because it's the main character. You don't expect the main character to be the bad guy. Spoiler. So as you when you watch this, it it totally tricks you. The beginning, you're expecting what you saw in the trailer. It it gives you that. You're kind of like, oh shit, what's gonna happen? Yeah, he's and then the, he's fucking, the outsider at uh, Oxford. Yeah. Um, which you know, he not only Oxford, but he's like, uh, you know, he's kind of the poor kid at Oxford. That's what he says. Right. But, you know, just obviously, like, as we're watching it, it's like, oh, this poor guy, like, you know, he even makes friends with this this one kid. And they keep throwing this whole thing at him because it's, it's Oliver and it's Felix. And Felix is the, the popular kid that not only do the girls love, but the guys as well. And it's not just because he's got, like, the fiery, cool guy attitude, like, not a care in the world. So it's, like, not only do the girls fall in love with him, but, like, even the guys are, like, dude, like, what a cool guy. What a cool guy. Life of the party. Yep. Always getting everybody rallied. Yep. Shots, shots, shots. Yeah. And so you think that he's going to be the guy because he befriends Oliver. And you think that he's probably looking at Oliver as, like, a charity case. Yeah. Which all the characters keep saying, like... The first friend he makes, Felix's sister, the, what's the, the light skinned dude? What's his I name? I don't remember his name. Can't remember his name, but they're all saying like, oh, like he'll be done with you eventually. Yeah. Like he just know, uses people. You, it's not even using. Right. It's just, you know, he, uh, it's like, uh, affirming. You know, that yeah. he's a good person, that right. he gets along with anybody. Yeah. He wants to use his wealth to help out people, but he kind of just, as they say, well, they say that he just kind of flip flops through people like that. Yeah. And there's like, you won't last. And it's, I mean, it's, it's cool. It's cool because, wow, got us. It's amazing how the movie was able to truly trick you because, I mean, what a twist, tr truly. You start, I, I really, I want to watch it again a little bit. I want to watch the beginning again to see if you can catch any corruption. You can like notice any things there's got to be some foreshadowing because it's a pretty fucking wild twist so usually when there's a wild twist they planted some seeds in the beginning i think there were some things i don't know 